Greetings, everyone, and welcome to a very special episode of Witch in the Woods here on the Yorkscast Complete Pack server. So last time, I had a whole ton of trouble getting deaf to spawn, and I think I figured out how to do it. So I've just got a wireless transmitter over here so that I don't have to get close to this thing, um, and then we just have to basically dash in and put the ingredients in, because that part is still kind of tricky to do otherwise. Uh, I could have a big item dock set up, but we're only doing this the once, probably, on camera, at least, so... Just need to shove those in, and I've got a remote... ...somewhere... It keeps vanishing. I know I had a remote. Where's it gone? Grr. Well, maybe we can do this the old-fashioned way then. Jeez. Best laid plans of mice and men. I'm, maybe I tossed it out at some point. Is that it? No. Oh, hang on. Better way. Easier way. Coin of fortune. So if that doesn't pick it up... Assuming I have actually dropped it around this area. Um... Which is increasingly less likely. Okay, fine. Grr. Uh, oh well, I've still got some dirt so I can <laughs> pedal this up. Yeah, best laid plans of mice and men. That should be fine. Okay. So, need to plug this in. Need to plug that in. The poltergeists are already chucking stuff. Which is why it's better to have them in their own little thing. Rather than in free. There we go. There is Mr. Death himself. And the reason I can't use the paving stones is because he does teleport. He's also vulnerable to wither, however. And his main op modus operandi is you'll hit him a couple of times and then he'll teleport back out. But he will usually try to teleport directly behind you to sneak up on you. Because he's a bit of a dick that way. But we've already got him down more than 200. A lot of that is DOT from our cyanide. You like it, Def? It's a new invention. You might not have heard of it. it tastes like almonds. <laughs> uh, you're behind me. Okay. Come on. You're the death of all things, but you will not be the death of me. My plan is to live forever. In your stead. <laughs> okay, he's down half. I'm into green at the moment. But I'm still healing. And if need be, I still have my grand panacea. Which is a literal cure-all. I'm curious what's going to kill him first. My sword or the cyanide on it? Okay, 200, come on, into yellow here, 150, below 100, he's nearly gone, he is still teleporting away like a dick, come on, he is gone, suck it, death itself, I could practically have punched him, okay, so I got fair falling free, we got a yellow heart, and we got the hand of death, Perfect, that is exactly what I was hoping for. So, there is a selection of items that you can get from Def, uh, one of which is Binky's skull, so you can ride his uh, his skeletal steed around. Uh, let me see if I can find the other ones in this listing. You can also get his hood, its gaze and still sphere, causing victims to freeze, which means if you look at people, they get a slowness effect. Um, there's Death's rose, resistant to fire. There's his footwear, which allows you to walk on water. And there is the hand of Death, special touch ignores armor. Death set bonus, summon Death Scythe. Uh, so if I had all of these, I could summon Death Scythe, which allows me to range Spectral Touch uh, for AoE and hunger-based damage. But uh, the Spectral Touch is now mine. Now, of course, these all change your model a little bit. So uh, I've got a Spectral Hand now. And if I had the hood, then it would change the way that uh, my face looked. If I had the uh, robes, if I had the full set, I would look like the mob that we just murdered, basically. And oh boy, I'm still in green. <laughs> Yee. Let's, let's fix that, shall we? <laughs> I love the Grand Panacea. But, uh, yeah, that is all of our ghosties gone. And, oh boy. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, 
This is probably not going to be a full episode, because that took about as long as I thought it was, but we ran out of time from all the faffing. Uh, ooh, and I have the skull death too. Hehe. <laughs> ah. But, uh, yeah. Little thing on the side. Maybe I've put this at the end of the last episode. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, I guess I'll find out when editing. But, uh, yeah. So, I didn't get quite enough time to talk about this, so... To make a... To make to get an altar this high, in just, like, a random spot, you need these pieces on the top. If you drive very... If I remove these, this goes to around about 800 or so. So the plants make a huge difference. Now, you can have up to 20 of a given organic item, such as a pumpkin, such as wheat crops, such as carrots, that kind of thing. And any higher than that, it, just, it does, doesn't really matter. Um... So if you have like a compact layered system like this, like this is a free tiered system with air in between for the plants, then you can get 20 of a whole ton of them in, this isn't even all of them that you could have, and that will get you up to really high. Remember the, skull, the skeleton skull and the filled chalice add a lot. Um, but yeah, this isn't exactly something you just like carry in a backpack and like just plonk up in like the middle of the night, but it is a pretty nice compact system, and it's sort of a very condensed version of what we have back at the well. So, uh, back in the well, we also have trees, we have logs, because uh, the wooden logs do contribute as well, the saplings contribute as well, um, we have water artichoke globes there as well, we don't have, have enough water for them here, uh, but, but that's, like, basically how you can do it. Now, if you have the dragon egg, which we don't, we might look into that later, because, uh, talk, talking to Alfaba would be nice, um, she's, she's not a doll, honestly, a bit grumpy tempered, but nice, um, but uh, if you have the dragon egg, it will go even higher. Uh, but again, we don't have the dragon egg. But anyways, I'm rambling because I have just defeated my own death <laughs> in ha in single combat. So with that, catch you all next time. Good evening everyone, welcome back to Witch in the Woods, here in my rather modest and humble, but really don't need much more, spirit world. Uh, so I just got finished up brewing some Brew of Flowing Spirit, which you can only brew here, which is why I'm in here, because you need the fanciful thread and whatnot, among other things. And our jobs for today, if I just grab my clipboard here, uh, we're going to be looking at Mad Science a bit, and we're going to get the Infused Brew base so that I can make the Infused Brew of the Grave. I don't know if I'll be showing you, I'm showing that off, it depends how expensive this turns out to be, but we'll see. Okay, so let's just get back to the Overworld. Uh, ooh, which means I'm going to have to take my hat off. Yep. Can't travel with your hat on, as I've learned once or twice on the tube, but anyways. There we go. Okay. Back home. More or less. Hump. Okay, let me just turn my particles off. I still have to turn my particles back on, just so I can, like, brew. There isn't really any meaningful manner of telling whether a brew is finished, except the particles, which is kind of a pain. Uh, but anyway, let's go down in a, a couple levels. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed that little beast with Diff. Um, he's not the most pleasant chap, but, you know, you, you, you give him a good hiding and he, uh, he understands where his real place lies. Uh, anyways, so, we need... Brew the Flowing Spirit. And what are our other ingredients? Uh, let me see. Spider Eye, I think, is on it, but uh, we also need Owlet's Wing. We need Toe of Frog. And I know there's more, but I can't for the life of me remember. Hang on. Yeah, of course. Traveling between dimensions. Clears that out. You. Yeah. Have a pain. Do I have brews in here? Brews and infusions. There you are. Okay. Uh, so, oh boy, this will take a while. Uh, the homework was to watch Village of the Damned, which is a really old one to say the least. Uh, Redstone soup, creeper heart, and tongue of dog. That's what it was. Um, it's a really old one. It kind of plays exactly like you expect if you've ever watched one of the older like movies. Um, I like it, personally. It's a thing. Uh, I have very few creeper hearts, because they actually still have to come by. Even with, like, especially when the creepers actively run away from me. Um, I don't know. Like, the, the biggest important thing that I know about that movie is that the child actors are miraculously very well behaved. I don't know how they achieved that. 
Uh, what am I missing? Go for our paper heart, Owlet's wing, tongue of dog, that's it. Um, it's like, the movie focuses on the children the entire time, and I can't think of a single moment where they even hesitatingly, like, acted splendiferously. It's utterly remarkable. I mean, like, they say in Hollywood, don't work with children or animals, but I don't know, like, they, I wish those children had stuck around, I could have taught people a thing or two. Uh, ooh, and I'm going to want to put my... Actually, no, no, I won't, because there's a lot of my pull out. Yay! Hurrah for automation. So, Brew of the Flowing Spirit, Redstone Soup, Owlet Swing, Creeper Heart, Toe of Frog, Tongue of Dog. And we are looking for infused brew base coming in at some point here. Although this does take a fair bit of power, so this might actually not have enough. Let's take a look. How much power does this got? This has 2,440. Ooh, I believe it costs about 3,000 to get this thing to work. So, let's very quickly, because those ingredients aren't cheap, find some stuff to plant around. Um, let me see, we've got some mycelium back there. Let's try some woods. So, doop, 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 doop. Oak and spruce. We don't need it to go very high, but we need to go. It, we need. To, we do need it to go up by about six hundred. So, doop. And remember, from our last episode, I described that you can have up to twenty of a given object before it starts to not really have any effect at all. Two fifty. Ugh, that's not helping much, is it? Uh, okay, let's get some seeds in. And this is probably spoiled by now, but who knows. Do, do, do. Fortunately, I have some fertilized dirt in here. And uh, let me see. Uh, let's grab Belladonna. Snowbell's a good one. I won't put Mandrake back there, that's a bad idea. Jeez. Aye. Uh, but yeah, over, like, I like the sort of pseudo-procedural way that the characters approach the problem. Like, you see, you see them when they're just, like, initially investigating things. You see them, uh, like, figuring out the perimeter and all that, and, like, working very methodically to work things out, and... It's like, that's not generally the kind of reaction that you see nowadays in movies. Like, you generally see people panicking and screaming and running around, but no, they're all very, very logical and minded, and they're going about this as, uh, as intelligently as they can. It's very, very good. Um, the variety of reactions to discovering that the women are pregnant is definitely, like, well done. Um, not all of them are particularly pleasant, of course. We can't really expect, uh, that kind of situation to be universally well received. Uh, by all of the townsfolk and such. Uh, ooh, my little stock a little bit. Yeah, I'm just trying to very quickly make this before that brew goes off. Phew. The back areas behind these walls are not very well well maintained, I have to admit. Uh, okay, seeds. Uh, I need regular seeds. Those will do. Uh, carrots and potatoes as well. Uh, oh yeah, we've got a lot of potatoes. 52,000 of them. And uh, yet, surprisingly, only nine, like, poisonous potatoes. It's a good thing you can craft those with spider eyes in this. Uh, the reason for that is actually because uh, potatoes, well, uh, poisonous potatoes, as it were, are actually a rare, a rare drop. You have to harvest them manually, generally speaking, to get them. So unless you are using a machine that can simulate players harvesting, uh, you're never likely to actually see poisoned potatoes. Is it ended now? No, it doesn't look like it. So I presume we still got more to go. Let's check what power it has now, though. Oop. Oop. Come on. I've got like an episode to do here. So close! Okay, 70 more. We can do this. We can get this going. Um, we can probably get 70 just by adding in Rowan. As I say, I am not going to be putting Mandrake back here. 
because that could just cause all manner of trouble. And I'm slightly blocking up my own exit here, aren't I? Jeez. Okay, that should be enough. Let's take a look. Just. It is just enough. Phew. Now the question is, did we do that fast enough, or am I going to have to make more ingredients? This is emptied. So... Infused brew base. Okay, now we did that the hard way. The expensive way. There's a cheaper way to do it. So if we... Uh, check the recipes, it might show us. Uh, no, it's not going to show us that one at least. Um, okay, but our book will tell us, so let's hop back upstairs. And, there you are. Uh, okay, so that's the generic, that's the expensive one, the hard one. The next one is infused brew base, brew of flowing spirit again, so it's still a little bit on the cheap side. Hint of Rebirth, Mandrake Root, Wool of Bat, and Wild Bramble, as well as 3000 Ultra Power. So I can set up a system to automatically craft that. Uh, so let's see, Wild Bramble. I don't know if I have any Wild Bramble, come to think of it. Okay, I have four. I just haven't let it spread. That's good enough. Um, let me see, Wool of Bat, Mandrake Root, Hint of Rebirth. So, Wool, and Root. No, oh, that's Tama Root. That's the Mandrake Root. Hint of Rebirth. And then it's another Flowing Spirit. And our Infused Brew Base that we already have. And that should make more than one, is our hope. Uh, let me just grab... Actually, no, I'm not going to have to worry about that, will I? I was about to say, maybe I should grab some potion bottles, but no, they're actually already, like, mass stored in here. Okay. Let's give this a shot. This still costs 3,000 gold of power, reminder, so yeah. So. Okay, it's already gone. So if I look now, now we have two. So from that one, it made two, but now, oh well, it's good enough. So, now we need the infused brew of the grave which is a rite of necromancy, I believe. Let's take a look. Uh, there we go, necromancy. Uh, infuse the brew of the grave. So we need infused brew base, 3,000 power, necromantic stone, a zombie, a bone, and dense web. Okay, well, dense web, I don't think I have a recipe in here for. Oh, no, I do. Yay. Shouldn't take too long. There we go. Uh, and then we need a bone as well. And I think there's a spare necromancer's stone in here. There we go. Uh, the infused brew base, got that bone. Yeah, so we just need the zombie. Now I have some safari nets in here. We might actually manage to get this done very quickly. Uh, let me shove these items in so I don't forget them somehow. Doo -doo. Ah! But yeah, they're like, um, they're very methodical about how they figure things out. You don't, like, it, it's fairly typical these days to find, uh, horror movies where the people in general are just sort of idiots. Um, they don't go about things very intelligently at all. Um, but no, in Village of the Damned, they're, they're all very intelligent. Not a single person in the village is remotely, like, uh, un, un, like, unacknowledging of the fact that these kids are strange and weird. It's like, you can see a lot of outsider perspective there, but still, it is very, very clear that uh, something, off, something very off is afoot. Okay, so we've got our our zombie is going to hat. Uh, we have our we have our behatted zombie. We have our infused brew base, our necromantic stone, our bone, our dense web. Is that everything? Yes, it is. I believe. If not, we're about to get a boop. Okay. And thanks to our paving stones of warding, he can't leave. There we go. 
Okay, so there's our infused brew of the grave, and that will give us two hours of server time, that's a time on the server, uh, to basically be an awesome necromancer. So if we happen to we have a if we happen to find a profound need for uh, like ludicrously expansive hordes of the undead, then we can now do that, so that's pretty fantastic. Now the other one we can get is the Brew of Soaring. Uh, ooh, I did not mean to get that in there. Let's say that out. Um... I have lost that book. <laughs> I have missed... Oh wait, because that was circle magic. Right. Not bruise. There we go. That can go back in. Those can go back in as well. Haven't done anything to Hand of Death just yet. Uh, need to see if I can enchant it, I think is my first thing. And then I'm probably going to have a few more chats with Dev to see if I can get the rest of his set. We'll see. Uh, okay, but that is one... Uh, oh, there it is. Good, for a second I thought I left that in the, the, uh, the dream world. So that is the infused brew base done. So, mad science. I'm a little bit on the clock because I know how long that segment was with Dev, so I, I've just had, like, filming this afterwards. Uh, so... To use Mad Science in this mod pack is a little bit tricky because it is almost entirely devoid of any eye recipes. Uh, more specifically, all of the machines pretty much are not actually factored in. So the Thermosonic Bonder is the first thing that you need to make. Uh, I would bring that up for you, but unfortunately I can't because of uh, my little issues with, well, any eye at the moment. Um, you can get the recipe for the Thermosonic Bonder if you go to the Mad Science website. It has a dedicated website that will show you. Um, but you make the Thermosonic Bonder, from that you can make about 90% of the different the different crafting components. A lot of them are just like taking the basic elements and repeating them over and over. Um, so from that you then make the DNA Extractor and the Cryogenic Freezer, depending on whether, like how cold the biome is that you're building your base in. You then are probably going to want to make a syringe sanitizer because it will save you on needles. And once you've gotten your DNA, you stick it into your gene sequencer with a empty an empty data reel. The first one will actually like dump a a new dedicated one there, so you'll have to shift that over manually. I haven't tried mixing these things with actual like item sorting just yet. And then you can make the data reel duplicator, so you can make sure you always have a backup because you do have to like use these things up. So what we are going to try very quickly to do is we're going to combine villager DNA, this is actually my DNA, fun fact, um, with the wolf genome. So we need another data reel, which is fairly cheap. It's magnetic tape components, emerald circuits. Emerald circuit is just an emerald with transistor components, that kind of thing. And, but this is taking a while. Magnetic tape is just rest on slime balls. I know we have a ton of transistors. What are you worrying about? Um, apparently you did it. Yes, you did. You were just being very strange. Okay. So, the hard part I found with using this thing, besides the like, biome-dependent temperature thing, is getting sufficient water into the computer mainframe, because this thing overheats very quickly. Uh... So my solution is to just have a drum full of water. Where's my crescent hammer? That's a wrench. There it is. Um, is to just have a drum full of water next to it, so that you can just shove bottles into this thing very, very quickly. And it will keep it reasonably well maintained. So with that, let's try and combine these. And I don't... No, this might actually need a lever, uh, but we can just grab one from here, because we're not using these transistors. These are for making transistors just yet. Magnet. On. There we go. Always handy. Uh, okay, so let's just stick that... Nope, not there. There. There we go. Okay, so it's got this little interface on the front. Um, I, th I don't think that's the I'm on fire symbol. I think that's actually like working data. It's, oh, it's uh, two... I can see it now. It's... Uh, this this mod has a very like distinctive like graphical style, um, but that is uh, two two rotating like uh, double helix DNA. So that's pretty cool. Okay, and it's working through at a reasonable pace. The temperature is staying stable, but you can see how often it's like 
taking over in here, and we can just check it out and look at how quickly it's draining it there. Pretty damn quick. Uh, but we're doing okay. Now there's a variety of different mobs that you can make with this. Uh, so the one that we're looking at presently is Werewolf. Uh, you can also make the Creeper Cow, the Woolly Cow, you can make the Shogoth. Um, you can make the Ender Squid, I think it's called. You can find an Enderman and a Squid. Um, I, I want to try and mix like uh, advanced genetics with this and see what kind of creatures I can come up with. Uh, so we're just going to start with uh, the werewolf. If you want a particularly good treatise on how to on how like werewolves can be done in uh, horror movies, then I highly recommend the classic American Werewolf in London. Um, more recent ones uh, don't tend to be as good. I like. Nine times out of ten, you see it. You see it uh, shown off as being more of an inconvenience than an actual like curse. American Wealth in London takes no, no like holds no punches. It is agonizingly painful. You don't know what you did last night. It's blurry, but you know that somebody probably died. In fact, they're probably haunting you. So it, I. American Wealth in London. Check it out. Good movie. Uh, it is not, in fact, our, our uh, homework for, the, for this time, though. Our homework for this time is The Host. And no, I do not mean Stephanie Mayer's follow-up to Twilight. I would never be that cruel to you. So that gets us our werewolf genome, villager and wolf. Now, to actually use that, we are going to need another device. But unfortunately, I can't show you because my NDI is out. Uh, so we'll finish up getting our werewolf next time. I can just turn these off now. Doop. We'll finish up getting our wealth next time, and I'll uh, introduce you guys. Um, so your homework is The Host. Go check it out. It is a good monster movie. Doesn't take it in the direction that you might initially expect, considering that it's a monster movie, but gonna be interesting. Check it out. And with that, catch you all next time.